How's it going, everybody, out there in the uh, media vol community? Uh, before I get to the subject of my next video, here is a um, rundown of the three um, different vendors that uh, put out uh, great classic reissues of mostly Christian bands. Here is Greg Hayes of Girder Music. That's one of the guys here um, that uh, put out classic and great reissues. Here's him there showing the Shout album there. In your, uh, it won't be long. You can see that there. Also, we have Matt Hunt of Boom's Overstock showing off the uh, recent uh, reissues of the Narnia um albums that he reissued. Um, Narnia, as you may know, is the precursor to the band Narnia, which features Christian Lilligren, uh, who was in both bands. Um, let me see if I show another, another, uh, there you have it there. So, uh, there you have it. That's Matt Hunt of Booms Overstock, and the first one was Greg Hazelgurta Music. Here we have the next one, Bill Bafford of Rocks Records showing off the uh, Sacred Warrior reissues that recently came out over the past couple years. And uh, there you have it. He's, going to, he's about to show the, um, he's about to show the, um, the Sacred Warrior reissues. Let's have a listen. Then you can grab this if you happen to have one of the original issues which um, there you have it. are very scarce already on intense So that's records. Bill Baffer of Rocks um, Records. And all three labels tend to put out quality, uh, quality music releases. And I have a lot of release, release, releases from these, uh, from these vendors. There you have it. There you have it. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoy that. And I'm going to get to the subject of my next video, which is... The mail! That's right, time. It's time for yet another big edition of... The, the mail. mail! The mail, that's right. That's right. The mail. So my next video is about, or this video is about uh, what some recent items I got in the mail. Uh, one was a local pickup, and the other three was from an online uh, store. Uh, so let's get right to it. So what, while my wife had an appointment uh, one day a couple weeks ago, I uh, popped into a local thrift store and picked up an album from a band. Now this band I can take or leave, take it or leave it. Uh, they've been around since the 80s, one of those 80s rock, high rock bands. Uh, but they mellowed out after about the early 90s. They kind of mellowed out a bit and became one of those soccer mom type bands. Uh, but the first uh, four to six albums uh, I find quite good. Uh, you know, typical hard rock. Uh, but I bought this more for my wife. Uh, she's a big fan of this band. And I only picked up this for a couple dollars, for basically for the price of a cup of coffee or, or a bar or two. Here's Bon Jovi, Have a Nice Day, uh, which came in 2005. Here's the back of it here. I skimmed the album, it's okay, not my cup of tea. The first song's pretty good, which is, uh, which is Have a Nice Day, so it's not bad. Uh, but I can take the Bon Jovi, here's the inside there. And uh, here is the inner tray, that kind of thing. Here you have a Bon Jovi, Have a Nice Day. And uh, my wife don't know I got this yet, so I'm gonna give this, uh, either let her know what person it is, or what I might do is slip in a console in, in, in the car she drives and uh, maybe she might pull it, they say, what's the CD doing here? So it might, might be a little surprise for her. So it's Bon Jovi, have a nice day. The next two, uh, next three items I got from C Universe, and I had my eye on these albums, uh, the two of the albums, which came out this year. Uh, so let's get right to it. So here we have, and you all know who this guy is, uh, both Christian and mainstream circles know who this guy is. Um, he's a big time producer, has a handful of albums out, uh, great voice, great instrumentalist, 
and he was also had a four-year run in the band Kansas. There you have John Lafonte, The Amazing Grace. There you have it, and here's the back of it here. And I kind of like the artwork there, the theme, the theme there. She kind of shows that uh, uh, graphics of that uh, 80s, early 90s uh, arcade games. You know, like Asteroid. And remember, remember back in the day in the 80s, you'd go into the, like this booth uh, which shows Star Wars with the Death Star trench run with those lasers everywhere, like the, the, like the, the outlines of different colors. That's what this kind of reminds me of with that uh, basic graphics are way back in the day in the 80s there. It's kind of cool because I really like the artwork. So John Fountain, the Fountain Amazing Grace. Um, here's a book with there. It basically shows the lyrics and that and that kind of thing. Um, you know, so it's kind of cool. Um, and here's the inside there. Uh, the CD and tray. Kind of cool looking with those graphics. I kind of like that. And John Fountain tends to dance between. Uh, light rock, dull contemporary, the hard rock and metal. Uh, now, uh, I, I'm a big, huge fan of the three Mastodon albums. Um, um, it's Jungle Out There, uh, Lufcadio, and Revolution Mind. Now, Revolution Mind was marketed both as a John Fonte album and a Mastodon album. I got the Girder Records reissue of, of uh, Mastodon 3, the third one. Um, you know, I think it was marketed both a John Fonte album and a Mastodon album. But, but I think the core lineup, uh, John Alfante, Dino Alfante, and Dave Amato, uh, which was on, he's on Ardo Speedwagon, and he plays this some of the guitars and backup vocals and lead vocals. Uh, the core band members were in, were in all three uh, massive albums. Those core members, John, his brother Dino, and Dave Amato. There you have it. Um, and um, John has put out. Uh, I think trying to think how many now. This is a six solo album. Um, it put out uh, um, Windows of Heaven in '95. I don't have a CDS more dull contemporary. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, Corridors in '97 is also dull contemporary. I never ever had that disc. Uh, Define Gravity in '99. I do have that disc. Uh, that's more of a light rock adult contemporary with some rockers on it. Uh, it's got a few good songs on it, I don't to a whole lot. But I do like some some songs on the, on the album. And On My Way to the Sun, which came in 2014. Uh, I have that on CD and vinyl. Uh, Gerda Records uh, reached the vinyl, so I have both. And this is a follow-up to that album, which is uh, Amazing Grace. And that is more of a... Um, there's four or five rockers. I had a chance to listen to the whole album yet, but I... Uh, there's four or five rockers, and the rest are more uh, light rock, um, ballad, that kind of thing. So, if uh, just let you know what to expect of the album. I didn't be, give it a thorough listen yet, uh, but when I have a do, I will let you know what my thoughts. Um, it's not as heavy as I'm Away to the Sun, because uh, that's how I'm Away to the Sun has some like uh, hard rock elements, proggy elements, rock elements to it. And it only has like probably I think um, one or two bells. Uh, this time it's an anti-borsha song, and I think it's one song called "We All Fall Down," which is more acoustic, like rock song. Which I also I like that song. So there you have it. John Fonte, "Amazing Grace." Make sure you pick that one up. So there you have it. Next one is an, an all-star band. Uh, so a couple of prominent bands were representing this all-star band, that being White Snake and Striper. Uh, so here we have Iconic, which is called Second Skin. Uh, I don't think Second Skin is, is a, it has any sexual innuendos. I'm not sure what the meaning behind it is, but anyway, that's uh, Iconic Second Skin. Uh, Second Skin, sorry. And here's a band band members there. It features uh, Tommy Aldridge, a wedge made of White Snake, and Ozzy Osbourne, and uh, Joel Holstrom, who's currently one of the guitar players in. in um, in uh, Way Snake, and also feature is featured in some of Michael Sweet solo work, and we have Michael Sweet himself. The other two band members I'm not familiar with. I haven't had have chance. I never really haven't really gotten into like what they, else they were involved in. So here's iconic with the, this face look. Here's a CD tray there, and um, 
of course let's put on Frontiers Records who are, which are known to put out uh, classic releases from classic bands and also has uh, are known to approach bands about putting out um, um, all-star albums uh, as well so and the name of these things I'm not too familiar with is Nathan James so I guess I'll eventually I'll look him up but his, I do like his vocals kind of reminds me of um, what's his name Joel um, Jeff Scott Soto uh, that's who his vocals reminds me of if you listen to both uh, singers it has that similar vibe to it so I want to compare if you want to compare him to a singer if he's Jeff, Jeff Scott Soto uh, here's of course Michael Sweet we all know no Schreiber uh, here is Joel Holstra there you have it and uh, of course kind of cool looking band pick there um, here we have uh, Marco Mendoza which I'm also not familiar with he plays bass and uh, of course uh, the legendary Tommy Aldridge of Voice Snake he also played another album I have called Mars Project Driver uh, which is uh, Community 6 and of course has Rob Rock on vocals and Ruby Zars on bass and Tommy Calpine on, on guitars uh, that's re and the reason why uh, Mars broke up was because David Covell fired the uh, members of Voice Snake who made the actual Voice Snake 87 album and he hired Tommy Aldridge and Rudy Sarso as his touring band. Of course, as you may know, those guys have been with, his, with the band for the past, for the next two, two and a half, three years, from 87 to about 91, give or take, 90 And as you may know, Tommy Aldridge has been with Way Snake off and on through the years. So there you have it. Uh, the next one in the show is another band I've got, or really gotten into the past uh, year or two which is Narnia, their band for Sweden, a Christian band, Christian oriented band. This is called From Darkness to Light, came out 2019, it's the latest album. Uh, I hear they're working on a brand new one, which I'm hoping to get that too. And here's the, back, here's the background there with, the, with all the song titles there, and a the cool band pick there. And here we have the, uh, I really like the artwork there by the way. And here we have the um, inside of the band, there you have it. Pretty cool looking. And um, here's the inside. Now, the reason now I got the uh, the white bottle. It's also done with red and uh, red and uh, black. But I got the white because it seems to me matches the um, the overall look of the album and artwork. There you have it. There's a nice uh, hard car stock of the lyrics there. Kind of cool. And uh, and also too, um, in addition to what I just said, um, when I got the album, there was a scene split in the front there. Uh, there you have it. So, and I contacted City Universe, and I figured you know might give me a discount or uh, you know which I wasn't happy with, but uh, but he, but I figured might want me to send a pic to prove that where where the damage was done. And they took a word for it, and they sent and, and they sh shipped me already a brand new uh, a brand new uh, record. So I'll be getting that in the mail. So I might up doing selling this off around fifteen bucks plus shipping. Whoever wants it can have it. Uh, never been played. Only two after shrimp wrap. Uh, you know that kind of stuff. Whoever, whoever wants it. So there you have it. Narnia from darkness to light. There you have it. Anyway, folks, that's my uh, mail haul. The mail. And that uh, was brought to you by uh, a local thrift store and City, City Universe, uh, which also a place to uh, get music online. So I got those uh, great, uh, great releases, uh, which I'm looking forward to hearing in the near future when I get some time. It's been quite busy here. I've worked two jobs and doing yard work. Uh, it's been hot here to pass several few days a couple days in Newfoundland uh, we're getting hot weather I mean we're, we're upwards of 25 30 degrees Celsius in that range um, our freezing point is zero uh, I'm not sure if that's a Fahrenheit because we use metric system here in Canada for the most part um, for, for the weather uh, and we use a mix of stuff for uh, both the Imperial and the uh, metric for 
weights, and distances. We use a mix of that. When it comes to weather, we use the metric, uh, which is Celsius. So anyway, and also too, um, uh, we're going to be booking an appointment uh, on Tuesday. I got, I got the day booked off to go whale watching. And I've never, never ever seen an actual whale in live, uh, you know, in front of me. So I'm really looking forward to that because I love animals, uh, marine animals, uh, animals in general. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. So hopefully we'll see some whales, maybe some dolphins. It'd be pretty awesome to be able to see that. You know, enjoy God's creation. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. So there you have it, folks. So you guys have a great day. All the best. And, uh, and remember, stay heavy. Psalms 150. Have a great day. Bye now.